Hey there everyone, my name is Janae if you're new here and in today's video I'm going to be doing a pregnancy Q&A. If you are new here, I talk about motherhood, lifestyle, and faith. So if any of those topics are of interest to you, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And yeah, so I asked you some questions on Instagram and YouTube. Um, well, I asked you guys to ask me some questions. So I'm going to go through and answer as many as I can today. I'm going to try to answer them all. Let's just jump right in. Before we continue on though, I just want to give a quick shout out to Bare Base, which is the skincare company that me and my husband launched recently. If you guys did not know about it, it's clean, it's natural, it's organic, made with minimal but very, very effective ingredients, great for acne prone skin. And basically, if you just want to improve your skin texture overall of your face, get rid of scarring, diminish fine lines, you should definitely go check it out. So I'll leave my website down below. I would love your guys' support. All right, let's just jump right in. So if you guys did not know, this is my second pregnancy. I'm pregnant with baby number two right now. My daughter is 14 months. She'll be 15 months in about a week, a weekish. All right, the first question is, had your period come back although breastfeeding? If not, how did you track ovulation? So yes, it did with my first pregnancy um, after I had my daughter Sage. My period came back a day before I hit the six week mark, so that was fun. The second question is, do you feel like you didn't have enough time with Sage before getting pregnant again? Yes, definitely. Um, I feel like at any point I would have felt this way. I think it all goes back to like mom gill and it's just like, Sage, that's my first baby, so of course, I'm gonna feel like whether I had a year versus three years, I feel like I would always kind of feel like I didn't have enough time with her, if that makes sense. All right, so the next question is, how does Sage feel about being an older sister? I don't know because she can't talk, <laughs> but I think she'll be a good big sister. Um, I feel like she'll definitely have some jealousy issues, which I think is perfectly normal um, with a firstborn being introduced to a sibling, but it's so sweet. I already tried to explain to her that she's going to have another sibling. And so every morning I say, hey, you wanna say hi to your sibling and give them kisses? And she goes to my belly and gives kisses. So that's really sweet. Next question is, how do you feel about having two kids? Honestly, right when I first found out I was pregnant, like after it all processed, I'm like, okay, this is so cool. It'll be close together. But then as the weeks go on, not gonna lie, I am very nervous and kind of terrified because I'm going to have two under two. And before becoming pregnant, I'm like, I always wanted two under two kind of, but now that I'm going to actually have two under two, I'm like, oh my gosh. So kind of frightened, excited, yes, but also slightly terrified. How many kids do you want? I honestly do not know because after I had Sage, I was kind of like, all right, this could possibly be it, even though I originally wanted three or four kids. Um, and then as she was getting older, I'm like, yeah, we'll have another one sometime soon. Just don't know when. Now that I'm pregnant with the second one, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I want a third one. Probably will, but honestly, me and my husband are just like waiting till this one comes. And if we do have a third one, which we probably will, um, we say we want to try our best to wait at least two years before getting pregnant again. Um, so they're a little bit further apart in age. Next question is, what are some things during this pregnancy that you plan to change or repeat? Routines, food, general care. Some things that I plan to repeat, I don't know, honestly, the, everything is completely different now that I am pregnant with a toddler versus the first time around, I just literally had myself to take care of every single day. So I could get up, do my morning routine, do my stretching exercise. Now, being pregnant is tiring on its own, plus chasing a toddler around, plus dealing with my mystery illness, if you don't know about. Long story short, basically I have um, chronic headaches, migraines, fatigue. Um, so dealing with all of that, I've been pretty much in survival mode every single day. So I haven't really created any sort of routine. I kind of just wake up, see how I feel each morning and then take it 
one day at a time, if that makes sense. So I don't really plan on having any solid routine. However, I do plan, I, I hope I'm feeling well enough to start inco incorporating some more yoga and stretching, especially when I get into my third trimester. I'm in my second trimester now and I plan to do this from the beginning, but I just felt so sick. Now that I'm in a second trimester, I'm feeling a lot better most days. So I am slowly working out a few more days per week. Um, so that is one thing I do want to add into my routine. How are you mentally preparing for raising a toddler and a newborn? I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos, doing some Google research, listening to other moms who have two kids and especially who have two under two, their tips, their recommendations, their must haves or two under two, just things like that. So then I can kind of be a little bit more prepared of what to expect. Um, but at the end of the day, everyone's kid is different. So how my baby reacts and how my toddler reacts to the child is going to be completely different than someone else who had two under two but that's kind of how i'm mentally preparing just doing some research how has this pregnancy been different from sages well this pregnancy i definitely haven't been able to work out as much as i did with sages just because my extreme extreme lack of energy now that i have a toddler um, so I haven't been working out nearly as much as I did with Sages and not giving myself as much pampering as I did during Sages. I made like a video on like a self-care pregnancy routine and workout routines and stuff like that. Definitely not happening with this baby. Um, I mean, I'm still trying to take care of myself, of course, but it's just less often that I get to. Are you going to wait to find out the gender until birth? No, I actually already know the gender. Me and my husband found out the gender over a month ago. I just haven't announced it to anyone other than family. Um, I haven't posted it on social media or anything because I don't know, I just haven't yet. We're not gonna do like a gender reveal or anything, I don't think. So I don't know, I'm just kinda waiting to announce it until I don't even know when, but yes, we do know the gender. The next question is, do you want a boy or a girl? So. Although I already know what we're having, I'll answer this as if I don't know, like right before we found out what was my mindset, because I do remember. So I honestly always thought that I wanted a boy because I wanted a boy so bad with my first pregnancy. So then the second pregnancy, I'm like, yeah, a boy would be nice. And then I'm like, actually, no, I think I want a girl. My husband said that he wants a boy. And I'm like, I honestly don't care. Either way, as long as they're healthy, but I think a girl would be easier. Is it a boy or a girl? I'm not gonna tell you in this video. Stay tuned to find out though. Next question is, how far along are you? I am currently 17 weeks and five days as I'm filming this video. You'll see this video and I'll probably be 18 weeks. Um, so yeah, next question. When is your due date? Official due date, guest date is January 5th. Are you nervous from going from one to two kids? Yes, I already answered this. How far apart is Sage from this baby? I think I answered this, but sh they are going to be, if of course the baby comes around the time that its due date is, they're gonna be about 19 months apart. Are you planning on breastfeeding this baby? Yes, 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 most definitely. Um, the only thing that I am planning to change with the breastfeeding is introducing a bottle sooner. So like a breastfed bottle so that the baby will take a bottle because if you guys are following me, been following me for a while you know sage did not take a bottle and that was very very hard for me mentally physically so i want this baby hopefully hoping to god that um we'll introduce the bottle breastfed bottle sooner even if my husband like in the evening time when he gets home from work can give this baby a breastfed bottle so that i can just you know either spend time with sage or have some time for myself so that's the one thing doing differently but yes breastfeeding are you going to vlog this pregnancy like sages i would like to but just the lack of time that i have to sit down and film videos like this has been very challenging like i already have like a whole list of videos that i've wanted to film for months and just haven't had the time to sit down and film by the time i finish getting ready sage wakes up early from her nap or something and i'm just like oh my gosh well now i can't film and she only takes one nap a day now so it's like right now like this block of time that i have is like the only time i have to film i would like to but it's just not realistic but i am going to try to update you guys are you excited for this baby yes like i said I'm very scared but also am yes 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 i am very excited it's going to be a big change that's for sure but it's very exciting so i can't wait to meet this little bean with sage and this baby planned no <laughs> neither one of them were planned but it's kind of crazy because from the time me and my husband got married until i got pregnant with sage it was about 
right before we hit the one year mark. And then now it, I got pregnant with this baby number two right before Sage hit the one year mark, which I think that means something. I don't exactly know what, but I just think that's crazy. But no, that is going to complete today's pregnancy with baby number two q and a i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out my skincare company tell a friend tell a family member buy it for yourself buy it for a loved one you won't regret it thank you guys so much for watching i love you see you next time bye